What's up, you guys? It be your girl KJ. Super KJ, that is. So I'm coming at you guys with an exclusive review. Yes, I am coming at you with a review on the palette that is not out yet. The palette we're going to be reviewing is the Mo Glitz and Glam Color Wise Palette. This sleigh was created with it. I am PR for this company. But we do 100% honest reviews over this way. The company can't improve if you're not being honest. So this is going to be a 100% honest review from your girl. This look was created with this amazing palette. So I have no clue as to when this palette will be released. But I want to go ahead and be one of the first to review it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like I was saying, this palette is by Moglitz and Glam. If you don't know who she is, baby, what you doing? She the glitter queen. Step, step your game up, okay? I, I'ma need you to step your game up, okay? Okay. But I am introducing the Color Wise Palette by Mo Glitz and Glam. This palette has 18 shades in it. This palette has matte and satin shades within it. Honey, we have really put this palette to the test. So y'all about to get the real tea on this palette. I am PR for this company, but this is going to be in 100% honest review. Because I want my girl to prosper and improve. And people can't improve if you lying and, and kissing the ass. Like, people can't improve if you're doing that. There's no reason to lie. I mean, come on. People will respect your honesty first, sis. So with that being said, let's start off by talking about the packaging. The packaging is average. It's average. In my opinion, matte black palettes isn't the best way to go. Because it's a lot easier to see the wear and tear and the dents within the palette. If it's black you know this is the inside of the palette and yes we've been using it. so there are mattes and satin shades within this palette uh, keep in mind we have really been testing this palette um, so these are mattes and these are the satin shades as you can see you get the mirror within the palette um, you do get more mattes in this palette than you do get satin shades. I am rocking this palette today. Like, I created this look with this palette. First and foremost, I love the fact that she put a mirror within the palette. I'm the type of person that has to have a mirror with the palette. Like, I need the mirror. It just makes creating your look so much easier. And you can create bold and simple looks within this palette this palette is very versatile so I love that about this palette so let's get into the tea on this review honey the packaging is simple could have been better love the fact that it got a mirror love the fact that this palette has matte and satin shades within it now this is just my opinion and I'm gonna keep it 1,000. The mattes is litty. The mattes is the best part of this palette. She did her thing with the matte shades within this palette. You do get more matte shadows in this palette than you do satin ones. The satin shades could be better. Just to show you what I'm talking about, that's the matte shade and it's called Vixen. That's the matte shade, and that is the satin shades. The satin shades aren't terrible. They're like perfect for under glitter. So yeah, the matte shades are everything. The satin shades, they're not the worst 
the satin shades that I have ever tried. Um, but they're not the best either. Uh, these satin shades are perfect for like under glitter. Uh, for like a base for under your glitter. That's perfect for uh, what those satin shades are for. Um, and that's pretty much what I use the satin shades for. Um, I mean, the satin shades could be used for simple looks. Like if you're not trying to do something real dramatic, uh, it'll be perfect for like a one shade look. Uh, yeah. So, the satin shades could be better. The matte shades are everything. Would I repurchase this palette? Absolutely. She just could improve the packaging. As I was saying, she just could improve the packaging and the satin shades. Like I was saying, the satin shades could be used under glitter or if you're doing a one uh, shadow look, those could be perfect for that. Um, or for beginners who starting out who don't want all that much pigmentation but the matte shades girl you slay those matte shades the matte shades are super pigmented um the white whites are difficult to work with anyway uh the white could be a little better the white could be a little more pigmented but as far as the other matte shades i love all of the matte shades um yeah, it's just the white could be a little bit more pigmented, but yeah, whites, reds, and blacks are hard to do. Uh, so yeah, will I repurchase this palette when it hit the market? Absolutely, absolutely. Some of my favorite shades are Vixen, which is this purple shade, Dramatic. Bar Girl, that's the one I have on right now. Bar Girl is Liddy, um, Vixen, and Extraness. Extraness, Vixen, Bar Girl, Dramatic, and High Society. Like, those are some of my favorite shadows in this palette. Um, I love this palette for sure. We'll repurchase it. Um, so yeah, when it drops, go cop it. Uh, that consists of my review. I hope you enjoyed it, girl. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go cop it. <laughs>